Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Kirkby Shaw, and this is Sal, and we're going to demonstrate how to apply an ice pack to the knee joint after your dog has had surgery. You will need an ice pack. This is just a commercial ice pack that you would put in the freezer. You can use an ace bandage and a dish towel. Now, if you don't have a commercial ice pack, you can make your own by putting two parts water and one part alcohol into a double Ziploc bag and putting it in the freezer, and it will come out in a nice slushy consistency that's able to be molded around the joint. Alternatively, you can use a bag of frozen peas or frozen corn. So you'll be in a, a nice comfortable position with your dog and take the ice pack, place it inside of a dish towel, just a thin dish towel. Now, very importantly, you never want the ice pack directly in contact with your dog's skin. You'll take the ice pack and apply it to the inside, starting on the inside of the joint and wrapping around to the outside. Now, if you don't have an ACE bandage, you would sit and hold the ice pack with some degree of compression over the joint for ideally 10 to 15 minutes. Alternatively, if you take an, an ACE bandage and wrap it around, snugly, but not certainly not cutting off any circulation to the dog's leg, this will hold the ice pack in place and also provide some degree of compression, which has been shown to be more effective than icing alone. So now that we have our ice pack in place, we need some patience. We're gonna sit for ideally, again, 10 to 15 minutes with our dog as their ice is in place. You never wanna leave your dog unattended while the ice pack is in place. We wanna try and repeat this about three or four times a day for the first three days after surgery. Of course, this is always under the direction of your veterinarian or surgeon. This is how you apply an ice pack to the knee joint after surgery.